and you're in there in New York, the Knicks are uh, having a really, really great year. And one thing I say about Knicks fans, I always say I, the, the comparison I make between Knicks fans and Bears fans, I say Bears fans are the, the football version of the Knicks. And I say that because of this. A very uh, iconic franchise, maybe not known for winning, uh, a very passionate fan base who sometimes teeter on delusional, uh, a national uh, view of them where they just like making fun of them more than getting actual realistic takes off them. And also they're known for their iconic, you know, venues, Madison Square Garden, Soldier Field. And so this should have happened a really, really good year. Jalen Brunson looking like that contract was actually a steal. Uh, from what you know, from being there in New York, I saw you tweet a couple weeks ago, the city's going to be on fire, like when the playoffs actually start. Yeah. You've been in a couple games, man. I saw you uh, courtside with Jamal Crawford, uh, Jeffrey. I call him Turtle. I know he's Proctor, but he'll be telling, yo, he, Turtle is one of my, was my favorite entourage character outside of Ari Gold. That, that's with me, but you was courtside the last couple games, man. Tell me what it's been like in New York. Is it, is it more of a realistic we have a chance this year, or is it kind of like the usual Knicks fans just getting excited thing? Well, let me get this out there, out the way. I'm a Bulls fan first. Yeah, exactly. We know that. Yeah, yeah. You know, this is my first year not being actual technically media, so I'm coming mm -hmm. home. Give me Next season, I'm back. Crazy okay. tweets, frustrations, all that other stuff. This year, I'm just kind of vibing. I'm sitting in arenas. I'm just checking it out. I'm learning how to be a fan again. Yeah. I have to learn how to do that. I ain't, you know, debating with anybody. Um, but the energy's definitely been, been, been there. The takes have been piping hot. Um, kind of frustrating because I want more for the Knicks fans. I want them to actually experience what they've experienced in 99, what they experienced in, you know, uh and other, you know like then when they actually won something you know what i mean yeah. like not just making it to the playoffs or actually having a decent roster like that's very low tier of them especially for the venue that they they have in the in the in the passionate fans that they have you know what i mean so um i, I think before you get excited they got to reach a, 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 a eastern conference finals first you know what i'm saying because like these are that we're beyond the stage of just making it to the playoffs tibbs have brought that that mentality already like where they're defending, they they got identity, they figured it out, um, and the front office finally got it right and brought the right guys in there. I mean, you know, they just battling some health issues, but at the end of the day, they gotta make it, man. To before they start making claims of like this is the best Knicks team in a long time, I think, or even the same thing. Like Jalen Brunson's very good. I like him. I'm a fan of him, but like, let's not disrespect Patrick Ewing. Yes. Like, you know what I mean? Like I'm seeing, I'm seeing some stuff that I'm just like, I, it's not sitting right with my soul. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait a minute. Who out here disrespecting Patrick Ewing? Like, what are we oh, doing? Here? What's they all doing that. I ain't seeing shit. What What's being said? Because I that just. I mean, they just saying like, yo, this is like he's like the second coming. You know what I mean? And I get oh, it. Oh hell no! Again, again, there's a lot of you know. Again, like 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 Scott said, delusion. There's a yeah. line. There's a line, but I also don't want to steal joy. I don't want to steal joy. Joy is there. You know what I mean? Like you could be a Knicks legend by just playing hard, right? Playing hard. <laughs> you, you literally could play hard. I, like I said, it wasn't Chandler got traded many moons ago. We came back. I love you, Wilson. I'm like, bro, you was here for a blink. <laughs> you know what I mean? But he played hard in that uniform. Same thing I asked. What's up? Why Larry Johnson? I'm, you know, Nick's legend, but Nick's legend. but we got him on the bad back years. Okay, Marcus Canby, Latrell Sprio, you'll become an ambassador before your neck before your jersey actually go up there. The next person to probably get their jersey hung up is Carmelo, right? Yeah. And that's even up for question because they just they didn't have much playoff success. Yeah, yeah, like so it's like it's even tricky, man. And it's like for a franchise that haven't won anything in like 40, 50 years now. It's hard to like say like ah y'all can't really shit on Philly, y'all can't really shit on any of these oh, teams. Yeah, because you know making it to getting a playoff berth isn't enough anymore. No, I mean you can't even shit on Miami. I mean I saw a lot of people like bring on Miami. Oh, Miami. I'm like, you, Miami, that. Miami is who um people think the Celtics off. You want to be real about it? <laughs> no, not, like Miami shit. Miami is who. Like should have the arrogance of a Warriors, the arrogance yeah. of a Lakers, a arrogance of the Knicks, a arrogance of those franchises that actually have historic things. And I only say that because they've had 
two trips to the finals in the last five years. Yep. You know what I mean? Where you can stick your chest out and say, all right, we're making some moves on this thing, and and then we actually have a stake in this conversation. You know what I mean? But like, no, this, like I said, I'm enjoying it. And I think that if the Knicks make it could get healthy in this in this playoff series and and make a run, oh, I, I'm gonna be scared. I think, I'm gonna think Jesus coming back, bro. Because like <laughs> the Knicks, the Knicks playing basketball during good weather. Oh, the city is unmatched. No city's touching this. Shout out to Chicago. I love Chicago, by the way. But yeah, but even Chicago, it's a Bears town. <laughs> it's and, and that, that's why I was making the comparison. Like with the Knicks, like the first four touchdown Caleb Williams game next season is going to be. You want to talk about hot takes? First of all, I'm gonna be wilding. Let's, let's, let's be very clear. I'm gonna be wilding. But then it's gonna it's gonna be like the same thing where you have like. People are like, I told somebody this and somebody thought I was tweaking, but it's, it's really serious. I said, all the Bears have to do, Caleb Williams have to do is win one Super Bowl with the Bears. And he'll yeah. probably be over Jordan. Like, and people, I know that sounds blasphemous to people, mm-hmm. but we just care about football more. Yeah. That not that we don't care about the Bulls, but the Bears won. I've been on the Bears beat for three years. They have won a combined 14 games in my three years covering that team. And they're still front page news. So, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like I feel like the same vibe from the Knicks where you'll have somebody – I had somebody tell me Jalen Brunson was better than SGA, and I'm like, look, I like Jalen. Let, let, let's let's not do too much here. <laughs> look, man, the, the, the takes are very – they're a lot. They're a lot. Yeah. Like I said, I hate to be the thief of joy. Yeah. I want everybody to enjoy this. I'm enjoying it. But, like, let's relax our limbs. We, yeah. We doing a lot here, you know what I mean? That's like if the Bulls got Kevin Durant randomly, right? Right now, and shit, you know, yeah. Right now, like they gonna be like, "Oh my God!" We gonna be like, "Yo, still, yeah, and, chill out." <laughs> yeah, because it don't mean no guarantee ring. Gonna win a little bit more games. We're gonna do all this other stuff and cool. But you know, like I said, respect to the Knicks. I really want them to do well. But like, let's just come back down to earth. Let's not disrespect Pat. Let's get out the first round. Yeah, yeah. Healthy, and then we can have a conversation. And paper on his player, haters old news. Money on the other line, so I'm not gonna hold you. Money on the other line, so I'm not.